sorry, yes, I'm making a video on Sun Wukong. The Jeff. monkey fuck. What do you not like about him? Uh, well, <laughs> probably his ultimate. I'm not really sure, though, if... Like, is that just... Does it go in a circle around him, or can he place it? Either way, it's it's very massive and very annoying. I think it's just a circle right around him. Which I guess that makes it a little easier, potentially avoid, but still, because it takes up the whole lane, there isn't much you can do about it. Yeah, mainly the main time that he'll really get you with it is if he ganks, if he comes to gank. Yeah. Because you're going to be trying to run back through it, so you're pretty much screwed. Um, but I don't like the ability where he flashes to the enemies and it hits four people or four targets. Oh, yeah. The, uh, it does hit pretty hard for uh, being able to hit four times. Yeah. And it can hit you twice, you know, if you're right. if me and Two you are standing next to each other. Yeah. Yeah. Which well, is probably uh, something that to watch out for when you're laning against them is to try and stay on opt-in end of the lane. Yeah. Because you might be able to one of you might be able to avoid the, avoid the ult and also if the monkey gets bounced around, um, it's gonna hurt really bad if it hits each of you twice. Yeah, he's got some good utility too with his uh that he can jump so far while he's chasing you. Right, or and escaping also the same way. Mm -hmm. But he is a really powerful uh, god. Uh, what would he be a good counter to? I'm trying to think. Vamana? I mean, they're both melee, but they both have good utility. Yeah. yeah. The problem with Vamana, though, is if their ultimate's off cooldown, you're not going to kill him. Right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he has all that regen. But he is a fun god to play as well, if you know how to how to do it. Wukong? Yeah. I'm, I'm kept on trying to once, I believe. I, I didn't do too bad, but... Because you can get in and get out and still do a good amount of damage with his one her range to rat. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I mean... Him and Kali, I can see as primary junglers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah Kali is, is, is I have spider the spider too with the, the egg sacs, oh, yeah. uh, Arachne. Arachne. Yeah. yeah. But Arachne, to me, is the most annoying in the game because she's got two abilities that can completely silence you. Her, um... The web. Her ultimate does too, doesn't it? Like, or does it... You can you can run, but can you even activate abilities when she's on you like that? No, I don't think so. It feels like you are, like if you it it makes a sound that you're shooting, but it doesn't shoot. Like it doesn't shoot her, yeah. and it doesn't shoot anywhere. And, and the web, I guess that's a I think that's a, a slow. It did a little bit of damage. And she's got a slow, a yank, a silence, which you know um, she's absolutely she's raping your face. <laughs> yeah, she's pretty annoying. But, but if you get the upper hand on her, I mean, she's really not that bad. If you initiate on her, yeah, it's not that bad. But if she if she initiates you and pulls you into another teammate, the burst in the game is just so crazy that you, know, you don't really stand a chance. But yeah, so many Short. times I've been caught in his ultimate with like a couple other people and we all get screwed. The main thing, the main time that you want to use this ultimate though is I think if you've got your other, your, you know, your teammates with you when you're in team phase. Mm -hmm. Because if you get them with it, 
if you get multiple targets with it and they're able to pop their ultimates, they're all screwed. Especially if you have Hades and Zeus on your team. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hades and Zeus ultimate combo is ridiculous. But definitely uh, prayer beads, man. I'm gonna have to get those. Yeah. Yeah. Because unlike League of Legends, you can't choose your special things. You gotta buy them. Yep. Yep. But you keep them for the duration of the match. Yeah, this thing does so much damage. The flash thing. Yep, yep. What are you playing right now? Playing hell. Playing hell. Why do you like hell? Uh, uh well, I guess because I'm a, a healer, a by, healer nature. by nature, playing, playing WoW, playing WoW. And, uh, and, uh, uh, her heals, her heals are, are incredible. Her least her single target <laughs> heal is very strong. It's got me out of ultimate, so I know that. Yep, and uh, oh, she actually can, she can do some pretty decent harass with the channeling ability, especially early game. Uh, it, it, you can set up some pretty nice um, kills at the very beginning of the game. Artemis hell combo. Right. Right. Yep. You, you use the um, you use the slow from Artemis with the rain of arrows, and then. Hell jumps up and gets a little bit of distance on him and uses their channel ability to get some damage. And that's the ultimate for Sun Wukong! How did that miss? Come on. Does it do damage when it goes off? No. Just disorient. But you can, like, you don't, like, have, to you don't have to channel it, right? You can just, uh... Oh, yeah, I believe uh, uh, you don't have to channel it. Hit it and then run it and still do yeah. damage to them. Because otherwise, that'd be kind of annoying if you're by yeah, yourself. Definitely. Uh, I don't know for anything right now. But you can, you do get a lot of misses in this game as far as ranged. Mm -hmm. That is definitely true. And you gotta get good at judging where the target's gonna be, so where you, sh you know, lead them a little bit, just like you would a real uh, gunshot if the target's on the move. Well. You've seen every ability that Sun Wukong has, so this is just a little spotlight on Sun Wukong in practice mode to give you an idea of how he's played and his abilities. Thanks for watching.